This video is here to help you with solving multi-step problems. A multi-step problem means that you'll have to do more than one calculation to find the answer. You'll have to identify which operations are needed, which calculations you'll need, and which order you'll need to do them in. Let's have a look at one together. We can highlight the important information as we read it. At a football match, there are supporters of the Twinkle City team and the Twinkle United team. There are already 1,658 supporters in the stands, and by kickoff, another 246 supporters have arrived for each team. There are the same number of supporters for each team at the match. How many Twinkle United supporters are there? We can put the important information into a bar model to identify what calculations we need to do to solve the problem. There are 1,658 supporters. 246 more supporters arrive for each team, so we need two lots of 246. We don't know the total number of supporters, so we can put an empty box here. There are the same number of supporters of each team, so we divide the total number of supporters in half. We don't know this yet, so we can put empty boxes here. We need to know how many Twinkle United supporters there are, so that is one of these two boxes. Now we need to work out which calculations we need to do to fill in the empty boxes. We need to know the total number of supporters. We can add 1,658, 246 and 246. You could also multiply 246 by 2 and then add the answer to 1,658. The total number of supporters is 2,150. Now we can fill this in on the bar model. Next, we need to divide the total number of supporters by 2 to calculate how many supporters there are of each team. So we do 2150 divided by 2. Now we can complete our bar model with 1075 supporters for each team. The highlighted section gives us our answer. So there are 1,075 Twinkle United supporters at the match. Now it's your turn. Have a go at solving this multi-step problem. At the start of the summer season, a shop has 4,637 pairs of sunglasses in stock. Over the season, they order another 3,572 pairs and they sell 5,976 pairs. How many pairs of sunglasses does the shop have in stock at the end of the summer season? How did you get on? Let's check your answer. We can add together the number of sunglasses they had in stock and the number of sunglasses they ordered to get the total number of pairs which is 8,209. We then need to subtract the pairs that they sold from the total amount. There are 2,233 pairs of sunglasses left in stock at the end of the summer season. Now it's time for a challenge. Which of the two bar models is the most suitable to solve this multi-step problem? Choose which bar model to use and then calculate the answer. At the school sponsored walk, the total number of laps of the field that Key Stage 1 and Key Stage 2 walked were recorded. Key Stage 1 completed 1,257 laps. Key Stage 2 completed six times as many laps as Key Stage 1. How many laps of the school field were completed in total? How did you get on? It's time to check your answers. You can pause here if you need to take a closer look at the completed bar model. 
I hope this has helped you to understand how to solve multi-step problems. If you're looking for more maths help, then take a look at the Twinkle website where we've got lots more videos just like this.